Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the music, movies, and TV shows that I've been watching and listening to this month. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. And before I forget, I also did a July um, monthly compilation video, which I'll link up the cards um, if you want to go and check that out. Um, but I did go end up seeing Sugarland with my friend, and we were in second row, which was really neat. So go and check that out if you want to see more of like concert stuff which was probably one of my favorite concerts ever it was really really good um, but since we're talking about music let's just go ahead into that so it was a good mu um, month for music I will say um, so I really have kind of been listening to obviously the bigger album by Sugarland which um, I've been loving it came out in June and I've been really loving it I this is what they said this is their first new um, album in five years and so I was really looking forward to it when it came out so there's a lot of songs that I've been on repeat for me. Um, some like old one that I've been really listening to is um, King of My Heart by Taylor Swift and so we're seeing her on August 4th in Toronto so I'm really excited for that but I've been really I didn't like I like the song that came out but I've been really listening to it now I've been in love with it for some reason so like I've been really listening to that and like delicate right now I've been really loving um, in preparation for the concert obviously um, so those are the ones that I've been on repeat there's been like shotgun by George Ezra which has been really good and all of that stuff so July was a really good music month for me and so I also got introduced to Brandy Clark when I was at the Sugarland concert and so there's two songs I really like uh, love can go to hell and then also hold my hand I've been really good too um, so that's basically what I've been listening to it's been a good like variety of songs I think and so definitely go check them out some of the songs on here are really really good and definitely ones I'll be listening to like 20 years from now so yeah um those have been my my go-to I've been also um the best day by Taylor Swift I also played that for my grandma who's been battling cancer and so that was the first song I learned how to play on guitar like eight years ago and so we did like a little mini concert for her me and my brother did like a piano guitar duet for new year's day by taylor swift and i also did one for this one as well so i've been listening to that and it gets me teary-eyed but it's also in my vlog if you want to go and check that out where i'm playing it for her, but and i'm getting a little emotional thinking about it but that song like has so much meaning especially having a good like my mother is a strong relationship like that and also my grandmother so yeah <laughs> sorry moving on for tv shows uh i haven't been watching a lot of tv actually um my family we've slowly been surely getting through down to nabby and i think it's also in part because my brother and sister think it's really boring so like once school starts i think me and my parents will be able to watch it but they really like it we're on uh season two right now and then i've also <laughs> this is really bad but i've this is i'm going through my third round of watching the office like third time and so we're um on season four right now and it's like that meme where it's like there's so many shows on Netflix what should I watch and it's like that cloaked Kermit the Frog where it's like watch the office again <laughs> and so that's what I've been doing like no matter how many times I see an episode it always makes me laugh and it always makes me think of my brother and sister because we would every summer for the past like couple summers now we've been watching them as a family like um with the three of us so that's what it's making <laughs> me think of but yeah, that's why I've just been watching The Office a lot, and it just, it's, they get funnier for some reason, I don't know if it's because there's, like, no, nostalgia incorporated into it, or you get to understand the characters better, but it just always makes me happy watching The Office, and I've had so many things going on, like, with my grandma and problems at work, so it's a good escape and where I can just kind of forget what's going on for... 20 or so minutes um, and also I've been slowly but surely getting through The Handmaid's Tale season 2. I'm on episode 8 so I'm almost there. I'm getting close. My goal is to finish it by the end of August um, in time so that when the new shows come around in September I'll be kind of ready to start that but then once I finish The Handmaid's Tale I'm going to go back to Parenthood because I kind of put it on the back burner. I started watching it in May and I got like four episodes in. I really was enjoying it but then I kind of got other shows. I watched like The Good Doctor and all that stuff so yeah I've been really bad with TV shows but I think it's just finding that balance between reading and TV shows and rewatching The Office so yeah <laughs> that's been kind of like my TV show Thing, but I also saw that Hillary Clinton's going to be on the uh, first episode of 
Madam Secretary, and that is really, really exciting. So definitely we'll be looking forward to that once the new seasons of shows start coming out. So now let's move on to movies. Alrighty guys, so as always, you can always follow me at LexiDM14 on Letterboxd, so let's go ahead and get started. So I did watch quite a bit more movies um, this month, um, so I started out watching Harry Potter's and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, we usually do a Harry Potter marathon over the summer and winter break, so we got the first two movies in there, so Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It's so cute watching them when they're so small. Um, the second one is my least favorite, and probably second and fifth are probably my least favorite, mostly because I just don't like the spiders in this one. Um, and I've seen this one probably the most out of all of them because I remember it was always on Disney Channel and I'd always see the end of it so maybe that's why but yeah I've just been watching Harry Potter and my parents and brother and sister watched the third without me so I need to watch that to be able to be caught up though I know what happens but third one is my favorite and then so on the 20th we ended up watching Wonder Woman I really was really in the mood to watch it after they released the new pictures for the second one and so of course I gave that five out of five stars and I really like it it's just a good girl power movie so can't complain and then I also um, me and my brother and sister watched Pit for to pitch perfect three um, which I've seen but they haven't and so um, it's fun watching with them because I watched the first movie with them for the first time ever um, with them. So it was nice being able to watch it and then kind of end this trilogy with them. Um, but yeah, not my favorite. The first one is still my favorite, but three and a half out of four stars. I still really like it. I love the last scene, uh, the freedom song. If you've watched the movie, you know, but I like that part. And then me and my sister ended up seeing Jurassic World falling Fallen Kingdom, which was a lot of fun. I love these movies. I like, I really like this one actually. I was very surprised because the reviews for it were very mixed, but um, I gave it a five out of five stars. They're just fun to watch, and I think the two main characters have really good chemistry, and I really love Chris Pratt, so I can't complain. But yeah, there's some <laughs> kind of a good variety of movies here, and there's a couple more in August that are new releases that I want to see which I am excited for. So yeah. That's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any music, movies, or TV show suggestions based on what I like and what do you guys like to watch and listen to. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.